Olave. I thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. If you are keen, to those who are keen or interested in booking me for my, um, not booking me, and joining my Patreon, all right? On my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings, okay? Weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. I also offer personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link is down in my description box below if you want to join my Patreon. Or you can type what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will also lead you to my Patreon website where you can sign up, alright? Let us tap in and find out why we are spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us tap in and talk to God, okay? another person which in this case it's you know somebody trying to be the spitting image of you let's tap into this energy all right that i'm channeling here i feel like you inspire somebody all right but they don't want to admit that. They tend to, to hide it, all right? Yeah, we got the justice here. I feel like somebody um, admires your beauty, all right? They admire the energy that you stand in, what you believe in, your values, your morals here, um, your ethics traditions and things like that what you it's like somebody admires the way in which you do life however way you approach this thing of life this game of life somebody admires that about you all right let's see what's going on here We got the two of wands to the four of wands. So, I feel like this person here, they watch the way in which you, you do life, right? It's more than just like a, it's more than just inspiration. It's more than just admiration. It's like, they like to watch how you do life. And then they try to, imitate the same energy in their reality, all right? They try to make the same moves, talk the same way, dress the same way, and, you know, certain things like that that have to do with your identity. They like to imitate those things in their reality. And I feel like this person likes to do it to perfection, like, and they, they, they hide it, all right? They hide it well. Well, at least from you, right? I feel like this is somebody that doesn't want you to know how much you really inspire them or how much they really look up to you, all right? They tend to um, deflect from that. They don't want you to see that about them or see them like that. This is somebody that also likes to be admired and placed on a pedestal. That's why they don't want to admire and put somebody else on a pedestal because they feel like it takes away from them, 
or the value that they hold. But nonetheless, though, this person still, as much as that's the energy they choose to be in, they're inspired, all right? They're inspired to the point where, like, it's like, it's, it's really like, it takes control of them, like, it's more than just inspiration and admiration. It's like, when I channeled that doppelganger energy, it felt as though like somebody was trying to be you, but in their world, all right? Because they feel like somewhat the energy that you're in because of who you are and what you're about, it's, it's something that they also want to achieve, like, they want to be in the same likeness, the same image as well. I feel like this is the type of person to, when they do this, those around them, like, it's like an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example. Let's say, oh, that was weird. My lights move, but let's say, um, for instance, right, somebody that is popular in their world, in their reality, right, and they feed off of popularity, they love that popular popularity energy, they love being popular, and so a lot of people look to them for a certain inspiration or put, place them on a so it's in pedestal, right? And then they, this person that is popular, they, they encounter somebody that might not be as popular, but maybe they're popular in their way, or they're, they might even not be popular. Maybe let's say, let's take an analogy reference point case study, an example that the popular person meets a, a different person that is in a uh, energy of sort of like divine feminine, divine masculine. And then they fall in love with that person's identity, even though they don't obviously live the same life, right? So the more they fall in love with the person's identity, the more they feel like they want to attach themselves to the person's identity. Let's say the person has a certain way of conducting themselves. They'll start to want to conduct themselves in the same way in their reality, all right? And if a person dresses a certain way, they'll also want to pick up on certain things that this person does in terms of their style, and they'll want to also implement it in their world, you know what I'm saying? And it has nothing to do with who has what, but it has everything to do with how this person actually views you here, beloved. Coming back to the generalization of this message here, there is some, someone here that views you in a particular way, And it has nothing to do with comparison of who they are and who you are. It's like somebody strictly attached to your identity here and they're addicted to um, being like you. It's like if, if, if somebody could be a doppelganger of yours, like for real, if they could really be you, like if they could really be you in their entirety, I feel like they would. I feel like this person loves to, to watch you just so they, they, they know how to move in their world. Like maybe you're somebody that is intellectual, intelligent, you know what I'm saying? You tap in within that regard. And then there's certain ways in which you speak or there's certain things you say. They'll take those things and speak them in their reality or those ways of speaking and they'll implement it in their world and people around them be like, damn, okay, we see it, okay, you know, but it's not their originality, they've taken it from you. A part of this person does feel a type of way about that, like at first they felt a type of way that they were doing this, all right, they, they were being in the stoppelganger energy, they felt a type of way until they stop feeling the type of way because they were doing it so much, all right? I feel like somebody here looks to you in a certain type of way here. We have the star. It's like you guide this person, whether you know this or not, you guide them. 
by you just being you, you standing in your energy, you being the type of person that you are in your identity, in your world, and in your reality, like, somebody is, like, they feed you off of that. They like and enjoy doing that. I don't know here. It's like I'm, I'm getting something here. I feel like the way in which you are received in your world and in your reality by those around you is with uh, a certain level of respect here. A certain level of tenacity. All right? And this person, they, they feel like in order for them to achieve the same likeness of being, the same image, they, they're receiving the same respect and tenacity from people. They need to do what you do. You know what I'm saying? They need to conduct themselves how you conduct yourself. And then that's why they do what they do because they feel like it will get them the same energy that you get from your world. People will also view them in a certain likeness. You know, with the star, people will also praise them or at least people will also respect them a certain way here. You know, this is somebody that wants people to always embrace them in a deity way. Like they want to be idolized. They want to be praised, you know, and they, they do whatever it takes for for them to, to, to get that energy from people. So when they see somebody who is like a possible blueprint, they attach themselves to that person's identity in order to achieve the same energy that that person embodies, which is you here. That's, yeah. That's interesting. That's something else. So this person is like they camouflage. All right. They camouflage here. We have the five of wands. We have Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, Aquarius, energy. And Gemini. We got the Nine of Swords. I feel like, you know, everything in life has a loophole, right? This person here, the loophole is that what if you wake up one day and you are completely evolved in, in a different way? Like, they've attached themselves, they've begun to be addicted to your identity and whoever you are in your world and they, they keep wanting to match up to the same level and do things that put them in that pedestal. And I feel like this person freaks out whenever maybe you do something you don't normally do. Because then they question, okay, should I also do it? And it's crazy. The crazy thing is like they don't, somebody doesn't tell you this. That like you inspire them or they look up to you or you really are somebody that is an inspiration just in general. All right. Somebody here, they pretend to be cold and detached when it comes to you. They can even come off a little unbothered, all right? But it's only because they don't want you to know that you have this level of influence on them. But the whole time, it's like something is really deep here. Yeah, we've got the Queen of Cups. Because for this person to go on like this, it, it would mean that they've strongly, they strongly feel a type of way when it comes to your identity. And it has everything to do with like your energy here. I feel like this is somebody that pays attention to everyone's energy. You know, if your energy is like this, if your energy is like that, you know, how do people receive you because of your energy? How do you stand out because of your energy? And then they came across you and there's something distinctive about you, something very specific about your energy that they just fell in love with. And it, it just became... Just an, an addiction here for them to want to imitate your energy because of the love they have for it. But yeah. Like this person, someone watches you very closely here. You'd be surprised, all right? We got the Ten of Swords to the Eight of Swords. Mm. I 
I feel like this person, they don't want this to stop, all right? They don't want to have to divert their energy into themselves again and just be who they are. They're too focused on you. They want to do what you do, be, what, be on what you're on. That they don't see themselves outside of this energy. They don't want it to end. They don't see themselves outside of the energy of trying to be your doppelganger here. And somebody, I'm getting like entertainment. Of, they love to do this. Like It's like entertaining for them to watch you and then try to um, attach their identity to yours in the same way. You know what I'm saying? And it's become an addiction. And an addiction is something that, you know what I'm saying, you, you kind of bound to. Unless you are wanting to be free from it. And this person doesn't want to be free. Freed. They want to remain in this energy. And whatever, however way you evolve, right? I feel like they won't evolve with you. Like they will still try and mimic that same energy or imitate that same energy you stand in. Like maybe the way in which you talk or the things that you say or your beliefs or the way, in, like the way in which you conduct yourself, your character, your traits. They just, somebody just doesn't want to let go of your identity. Like you'd be surprised here. Because I feel like the way in which this person observes you, they do it with such interest that like, I wouldn't say it's like a fan with their favorite artist, but like that's how it's coming off here. That's just an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example, like, you know when somebody's a fan for, you know, a specific artist or a fan of a specific artist, they just, they lose it, like, they just study everything about the artist, they were born in this thingy, they grew up like this, this is what they wear, and, you know, this is who they dated, it's like, they, they go deep into the information about the person. Whether that person is aware of them or not, it doesn't matter. The fan is just in that energy of strongly being fixated on the artist, right? Because of the love of the artist's identity. And that's what I feel like is happening here. This person doesn't want you to know that they're in this energy. They don't want you to guess or um, figure it out. You know what I'm saying? They would much rather be behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? They would much rather be hidden with it. Because they just, they, nah, they don't want you to know, right? Sort of like a fan to, to, to any artist out there that they like. Whether it's a musician, you know, or uh, a literal um, sculptor. It could be as random as that, right? But like, if the fan was given an opportunity to be around their favorite uh, person here, right? Their favorite artist, they, they, they would... Either one, not feel like they want to do that because obviously the fear, like, nah, the anxiety, like, all of these emotions that are just overwhelming, like, oh my God, I know all things about this person. I love their energy so much. I'm just this, you know, that they mean, they mean this to me. Coming back to the generalization of the Smith, or they could go and meet the artist, but they will tweak out and trip, and it, they won't be able to function normally. Coming back to the generalization of this message, I feel like this person here, they, there is, like, you mean something to them, and they also can't comprehend it. It's like, it's too deep. So then they just choose to hide how they feel about you and just attach themselves to your identity by being like some doppelganger energy here. enjoys the way the energy is received whenever they are in this doppelganger energy like they enjoy the way people respond to them in their world and their reality and that just fuels them more and makes them want to still imitate your identity more right because they love how it works out for them in their favor in their world like something about this person's uh, reality and how the people around them receive them when they Imitate your identity however way they choose to do it. 
It just fuels them even more to stay in this energy of being addicted to this and not wanting it to stop, but not wanting to stop doing this. I feel like if you were to, I see here that if you were to engage with this person, like, I feel like they give like stalker vibes or like, they would be so attached to you, like in, in real life, if you were to, you know, give them access to your, to your, to your world or your reality. Like somebody would be really like attached, right? They wouldn't want to leave your side or I wouldn't say so about how people would be in a relationship, but like, that's what I'm picking up here. Like. Or like they would want you guys to be like best friends here. They would want you guys to be so close and inseparable that, you know, it's just you and them. And that's what, it's like a dream, a wish, a wish here. I don't know how you feel about that. Third father to a wands. Yeah, we got the Three of Swords to the Eight of Wands. This is somebody that struggles to process how they feel, right? They struggle to articulate how they feel. They just... So because of that, like, they, 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 they it manifests itself in things like this. Like, they can't articulate how much you mean to them and how, how much of an inspiration you are to them. So they, 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 they just want to be your doppelganger, like... It's just deep for them, so like they can't process it, and so it just manifests itself in these sort of behaviors where they 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 really try and mimic and imitate your identity here. It's like somebody wanting to be your best best friend, wanting you to be in their world often, frequently, all the time, wanting to be the person that you know, wanting you to be the person that they call, the person that they can confide in and vent to. And it's like, maybe you don't have that sort of dynamic with this person. You don't even know them, you know what I'm saying, like that or know them at all. And so to them, it's like, ugh. I feel like this person has a lot of insecurities. They tell themselves things that aren't true. Just to talk themselves out of things. Like, nah, I shouldn't tell them. I shouldn't tell them that. They're going to think I'm weird. Or I shouldn't approach them and tell them how, how, how much they mean to me or how much they inspire me. Because... They don't think I'm, I'm, I'm a little weird or I have some form of obsession or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So this person doesn't want to come off as weird. They don't want you to think of them as weird. It would break their heart if like they approach you and you reject them. You know what I'm saying? If they come at you or come towards you and then you just don't reciprocate the energy. They fear rejection and they fear it to the point where... They would much rather avoid it altogether. Somebody's in love with who you are here as a person. And they love the energy that you're in and how it works for you in your reality. And they wish to possess the same qualities or right, truthfully by origin, not just like duplicate, right? They, they want to originate their own identity and, and, you know, be a certain type of way, but also like receive the amount of respect that you receive and the tenacity all right we have cancer pisces scorpio energy here all right it's like this person, um, they love to admire from afar. Like they're like that, right? Because they always feel like the people that they admire, maybe they won't like them. Like maybe the people that they admire won't like them, right? And they want to avoid that rejection. They want to avoid being disliked by the people that they really like or are really fond of. So they just hide. And that's really a, a, a negative way of being, you know what I'm saying? That's not okay because they always tell themselves the worst before it actually happens. It's like seeing 
It's like maybe um, an analogy, a reference point, a case study, an example. Somebody going to the coffee shop, all right, and there they see somebody that they would really like to be friends with or pursue as a friend. Like maybe they see something about that person that really resonates with them. And then they keep it to themselves because they feel like that person would reject them or reject the offer of friendship. But then they stalk that person, they find out they they social media or something, they stalk them, they, they just tap into their energy like that, and they, they just keep fixated on their identity. And it's like, it becomes a little weird when you can just sort of approach the person and be honest and say, yo, wow, I really admire this about you. How can I get to know you? Like, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's just initiating conversation you know, you never know, you might make someone's day. You might really put someone in an energy of also being receptive to you. Like, oh, I love this about you. Wow, you, wow, you know, just the back and forth. So this person is afraid that you won't see them a particular way. That's why they stay, you know, behind the scenes. That's why they don't show themselves. That's why they would much rather admire you from afar. But the more they do this, the more they just keep being fixated on your identity when you know it's because they they held back how they feel this person wants you to look at them as an equal you know what i'm saying like they want you to like that best friend you know energy where it's just you and them like they don't have to they don't want to feel like you looked at them as low vibrational or anything like that. They want you to see them the way they see you. They want it to be equal here. But they don't even try to initiate anything. They don't know how you even view them and feel like they're scared to know. That's why they don't really initiate anything. They stay behind the scenes. They just like pretending to be a doppelganger. watches you all right they've been watching you for a while you know they've been wanting to be in your energy for a while they worry about it and the fact that like damn like i'm so in love with this person's identity like i would really love to be in their energy for real and not just you know do what i do behind the scenes but they're afraid like some of these insecurities are getting in the way of them actually trying to initiate something with you here it's like the more they think about doing that, they, they put an end to it, right? They think it and then they, they, they talk themselves out of it. Or they, they, they convince themselves that it's not the way, like nah, like leave them alone. They don't want anything to do with you. Like somebody's pessimistic here. Pessimistic and that's weighing them down because they could really, they all, all they really want to do is be in your energy, but they, they, they fight themselves and they pessimistic and it weighs on them because they, they don't take any action. But they love your identity, they love you. They wanna be close with you. They don't want you guys to be like, you know, acquaintances or you just meet and then it's like, it ends there, you know what I mean? They want it to progress and be something else and be deep. You know what I'm saying? This is like, if this is a feminine energy, they want to be like sister type, you know. They, if this is a masculine, they want to be on some brother, you know. And they wish that you see them in the same way or like you see, you see that in them too. Not just them seeing it in you alone, right? But yeah, I'm equal to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. Thank you so much for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen on signing up for my Patreon and becoming a member of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings, okay? Weekly sign readings for um, $10 per month. 
based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. Um, I also offer personal readings per month on my Patreon. You get a personal reading from me every month for $50 based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. The link to my Patreon is listed down in my description box below. Or you can type what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it will also lead you to my Patreon website. I will see you again on the Prophetic Vessel Show. Goodbye.